I actually got knocked down to a regular seller like a few months ago. I'll tell you about that. And um, so what happened was, <laughs> I'll tell you about that a bit later. The title of this video is Fiverr Seller Levels. Do they really matter? All right, so as a seller on Fiverr for the past four years, I will say that initially when it comes to the seller levels that they definitely matter because you want to rise up the ranks so that people will see your credibility, you'll get positive feedback from your customers and you'll be making more money because each level, I'll start out with saying what each level is. So. Initially on the platform, you start out as a seller, just a regular seller. And then when you rise up the ranks, you become a level one seller. Then you become a level two seller. Then you can get nominated to become a top rated seller, which is the very top, the highest of the ranks on Fiverr seller levels. Each level has its own guidelines to achieve so that you get to that next level. So you have to deliver high quality work. You have to make sure that your customers are absolutely satisfied and that you're actually making more money. And the way you can make more money is each level provides you with something new. So say for as a seller, you have a certain number of gigs that you can provide or put up on the platform. When you become a level one seller, then you can put up more gigs and you can also add extras to your gigs as well. So extras are something that's it's it actually is upselling your gig. So, for example, as a video producer on Fiverr, so I create videos for my clients, but it could be just a simple video like a tutorial video, for example. So I offer those at 15 bucks per 30 seconds. So if somebody ordered a tutorial video, a one minute video, that would be 30 bucks. It'd be 60 if they um, if they needed script writing. And so it could just be a simple video of just me recording the voiceover and then recording the video and putting the, the two together. So with extras, which is upselling my gig, I'd offer music, I'd offer arrows, zoom in, highlighting, adding their logo, um, text overlay. Those different things are extras and they each cost something, cost a different amount. So for arrows is five bucks, for music is five bucks, zoom in 10, highlighting five, their logo five, or logo 10, text overlay five. So it depends on what you want to charge for each different extra, but that is in addition to your gig. So you have an initial amount for your gig and then you can add on those extras. And so the extras would make the the gig even better or the delivery even better than what they initially were going to purchase so you always want to upsell that way so when you become a level two seller and then a top rated seller you'll have more things that you can offer to your clients in terms of gigs and in terms of extras so initially yeah being a level up or making sure that you rise up the ranks in terms of levels is a really good idea you absolutely should focus on that because that would be important but you must know that rising up the, the ranks in terms of levels is not just dependent on you delivering high quality um, content or deliveries to your clients it also depends on the amount of money that you make on the platform so if you're making a lot of deliveries to your clients and they're only paying like five bucks per per picture video whatever it was it whatever it is audio or whatnot then you won't won't get up the ranks in terms of level as quickly because I think level one, in order to become a level one seller, you have to make 2000 bucks on the platform. So it'd be a lot harder to get there to that 2000 bucks if you're just offering your gigs at five bucks. But when you start on the platform, you're kind of going to have to do that and then just raise up your prices and keep delivering high quality work and you will get there. For myself, I will say this, like I said, initially I do feel that making sure that you deliver high quality work and rise up the ranks in terms of level is a great thing you have to and should do that but over time if you've been on the platform like i've been on the platform for a while those levels won't really matter so much because i actually got knocked down to a regular seller like a few months ago i'll tell you about that and um so what happened was <laughs> i'll tell you about that a bit later but since i've been on the platform for a long time it didn't really affect me too much 
My, I still had the same clients that were coming to me over and over again, getting high quality work from me. And I also had new clients as well coming to me because they saw my positive feedback. They saw how many um, customer reviews I had and whatnot. So that really overshadowed the fact that I was at just a regular seller level. So that was great. But I don't recommend actually going backwards and going back down to a seller or a level one seller if you're higher in the ranks because then, you know, it, it, it can be discouraging or whatnot. So that happened to me. All right, let me tell you about it. Within a two months time span, I went from being nominated as a top rated seller. And the way you can do that is you have to have made 20,000 bucks on the platform, of course. And you also have to have uh, at least 90% on time delivery rate. You have to have at least a 90% response rate and at least a 90% order completion rate. So when you have that, then you'll you'll be able to go up to the next level. But when it comes to being a top rated seller, they actually nominate you. So that means that they could turn you down and you wouldn't even know why. Like they wouldn't even tell you, they don't give an explanation. Also Fiverr doesn't even have a customer support line that you can call. So the correspondence is all through email, which can be frustrating as well, but I mean, you can make money on the platform, so it's fine. But um, so yeah, what happened was in terms of myself going down from a being nominated top rated seller down to a just a regular seller was. So I was nominated and I was like, oh, that's great. And then I got turned down and I don't know why. And so I'm like, okay, well that sucks. And it, it messed with my ego a little bit. Cause I'm like, you know, that, that does suck, but that's okay. But I was a bit upset about it. You know, the emotions got into it. So I kind of just started to go downwards with the platform. I was a bit upset about that. And it's bad because it's my customers I have to satisfy. It's not Fiverr I have to satisfy. It's my customers because I still had work to do on the platform. And so I gradually just kind of got off Fiverr a little bit. And in doing that, unfortunately, my on-time delivery score went down. My percentage went down below 90%. I think it went down at one point in time to like 75, which sounds bad. And I don't, you definitely should not do that. You know, it's not good. And so it went down. And so I went from being nominated as high rated seller that month to the next month being knocked down from level two seller to a level one seller status. And then that next month being knocked down from a level one seller status to just a regular seller status. And so I sat there for a little while until I got that percentage back up to over 90%. And as I'm recording this right now tonight, I will be back up to a level two seller because it's the 14th and so Fiverr does. Each month they do an evaluation of your, your profile to see if you should be up a level or back down a level. So then after my level two seller status next month, I'll be nominated to be a top rated seller again. So, you know, you can go back up it and whatnot like that, but I don't recommend, you know, letting go of it, but I do say, or will say that if you do fall down in the ranks, like you can go back up it, like don't get too hard on yourself and be like, oh, you know, I actually fell down and I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be on this platform. Like don't, Get yourself to that point. Like, just keep going. Like, you'll get, it, you'll build it back up, and you'll keep going, and then you'll get to the point where you really want to be, and you're excited, and plus, you'll still be making money anyway, even if you're a lower uh, seller status. So, just keep focus on that. Don't beat yourself up about it, like I said, because I beat myself up, up about it, and you know, knock myself down, and it's, it's messed up because unfortunately, when I did that, it was damaging for myself. So, I damaged myself when I got all emotionally upset about the fact that Fiverr did not make me a top rated seller, but it happens and they don't explain to you why and that's okay. But so I'm still working on the platform, I still make a lot of money and that's the best thing and that's what matters most. And my customers get high quality deliveries. So absolutely that's what matters. I have a business going and I keep focus on that business as opposed to focus on something that, you know, could knock me down or get me upset about it and whatnot. So, but there are great perks, as I said, to being um, a level up higher from what you were before as a top rated seller. The best thing that you get as a top rated seller, which is different than the other levels, is the fact that you would get paid in a week. Whereas with the other levels, you get paid within two weeks, which does kind of suck because, you know, Upwork, you only, there's a week that you get paid, unless maybe that's because I'm a top rated. So I've been a top rated seller on Upwork for a long time. So, I get paid within a week, but with Fiverr, it takes two weeks. I think Upwork has always been a week, but I could be wrong. So I have to just look that up. But yeah, so the seller, the seller levels 
can pay a role in you know you getting business and that but if you've been on the platform for long enough and you've delivered high quality deliveries to your clients then the seller levels won't really matter so much and it won't really affect you as much so but i mean you can try to get up the levels and make more money because i think that is important of course making more money on the platform because it is for making money so but yeah just don't get too bogged up about it or too upset about it and you will do fine if you have any questions feel free to leave them below like this video because it's pretty good content for you and of course subscribe to my channel i look forward to seeing you in the next video thank you for watching and may you have a wonderful freelancing day